Tonight's a special night. It was a year ago tonight that David brought Frank into our circle so he could tell the tale that made him a member of the Midnight Society. The tale of the Phantom Cat. Vink's the name. Dr. Vink. With a v v v v <laughs> It's been our tradition that on an anniversary, it's that person's turn to tell us a scary tale. You have one, Frank? Oh, yeah, I've got one. Then take it away. I've got the perfect story for a night like this. Full moon. Exactly. Eerie things happen when the moon is full. People always act uh, a little bit different, a little strange. But to anybody who's ever told a tale of terror, there's one special thing that always happens when the full moon rises. And that's what my story's about. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story The Tale of the Full Moon. Jed and Huey were pet detectives. You know, they'd find missing dogs, runaway parakeets, that kind of thing. They'd just been hired by Mrs. Neville to find their lost cat, Misty. It seemed like an open and shut case, at first. Catnip mouse. Catnip mouse check. Why did you charge Mrs. Neville $20? Our rate for missing cats is only five. Yeah, but the puppies at the pet shop are 20 bucks a piece. Squeezy rubber hamburger. Squeezy rubber hamburger check. But your mom said you can't have a dog. She'll change her mind when she sees this. Where's that silver whistle? The one only dogs can hear. Should be here someplace. But what if she doesn't? She has to. I'm tired of playing fetch the stick with you. Me too. Splinters hurt my tongue. It's practically a law. I'm a boy, and a boy's supposed to have a dog. And as soon as we find Misty, I'm gonna buy one. <coughs> What's wrong? Found the whistle. Tin Tin to Lassie. I think I found Misty. The house across the street from my place. Lassie and Rin Tin Tin. I gotta go up for dinner. I'm going in.
That is the most ridiculous story I have ever heard. But it's true! His fridge was full of meat. I bet he's got his eye on every pet in the neighborhood. Dog burgers, fried canary, Jed. hamster soup. Jed! I have had about enough of this. But Mom! Don't but Mom me. I know exactly what you're up to, young man. This is another one of your cockamamie I want a dog schemes, isn't it? What? You figure I'm going to believe this silly story of yours and let you bring home every single stray in the neighborhood just to protect them from the butcher of Maple Street. <sighs> Not this time, kiddo. We're just barely getting by as it is. We can't afford another mouth to feed, even if it does have four legs and brings in the mail. Dad would have believed. Probably would. Creep. across the street. He just turned into a, 
A wolf. You're kidding, right? You got me out of bed for this? I saw him, Mom. I had my camera aimed right at his shit. What is the matter with you? Spying on that poor man. He's not a man, Mom. Look at this. It's gotta be on here. Okay, Spielberg, that's enough. Show's over. Into bed with you. I'm not making this up, Mom. I saw it happen. I know you did. You do? You've got dog on the brain, honey. You're seeing them even in your dreams. I wasn't dreaming. We'll talk about this in the morning, okay? Good night. Good night. Night, Mom. Here it is. Werewolves. Yeah, yeah, they come out during the full moon and you can kill them with silver bullets. I know how it works, Huey. Everybody knows how it works. What do I do about it? Wait a sec. That stuff's all in the movies. The real werewolves are called... Mes Mesomorphs. They have a disease that's called, like... Lycanthropy. That changes them at any time. They're allergic to red roses and pure silver. Oh, great. All we gotta do is trap them in a flower shop. There's one more thing. They need fresh meat to survive. They eat small animals, birds and stuff. But their favorite is, uh... Children. Huey, this is all really interesting. But the question is... What do you do if you got a werewolf living next door? Move. Go get washed up quick, honey. Dinner will be ready in a minute. We're having company? Well? Yeah! You remember that guy I told you about, the one I met bowling a couple weeks ago? He's coming here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're having a date? Oh, it's not a date. It's just dinner. It doesn't mean a thing. Oh, shoot! Dora, go get the jed. I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, sure. It doesn't mean a thing, right? You must be Jed. I just adore cooking, as you can see. It's been so long since I've had a man around to try my talents on. I hope you like this. It's a recipe I got off the TV. Oh, well, this smells great. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Or a cat. So, how are you finding Maple Street? That's great. People are much friendlier here than the last place I lived. What was that, Transylvania? Uh, actually, Seattle. <laughs> More yams. Ouch! Ah. How do you like that, huh? Pure silver. Jed! Watch, your mommy's gonna change. Jed, you apologize right now. No, uh, Ellen, it, it's all right. No harm done. You are excused from the table, young man. But, Mom! Now. We're going out for coffee. Your dinner is in the Kelvinator. I'll deal with you when I get home. <laughs> Huey, I was wrong, man. Guess I must have been dreaming after all. That guy's not a werewolf. Did you do the tests? Yeah. Did you use pure silver? Yes. How about the moon? I did the tests, all right. Okay, okay. So your mom's boyfriend isn't a werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's that. No, it's not. There's something going on over there. We gotta go back in that house. Oh, Jed, I'm taking a bath. Towel off. It looks pretty quiet. Maybe we should come back when there's somebody home. Like noon? Come on, I know how we can get in. Wait, why do you keep saying we? Because we're partners, Huey, to the end. The end? Wait for me. Oh, will you relax? Nobody's home. So I'm having coffee with my mom. to hidden. Maybe he got really hungry. What was that? Oh, give me that. guy look like? I don't know. Just like an average guy. Kind of tall? Yeah. Kind of bald? <sighs> yeah, why? What difference does it make? Because I think he has a twin brother. <laughs> 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 Very long. Thanks for the news flash. Met Gordon. <laughs> My dad's in school. Gordon? My brother. Yeah, well, I got news for you, buddy. Your brother's got a problem. Yeah, I know. Lycanthropy is a terrible disease. Everybody tells me I should just put him out of his misery. But he's family. It's all I got. 
Yeah, well, my mom's all I've got, and when she finds out about this, she's gonna... Jed? I already know. Oh. You're not scared? I was at first, but I'm trying to understand, honey. I hope you will, too. Does he really eat... kids? Rumors. People can be so cruel. There's lots of different kinds of families, Jed. This is just one of them. He's got to stop eating pets. It wasn't long before Jed's mom married the man from across the street. They all moved in together, like a family. Looking good, Mr. Anchors. Thank you, Mrs. Anchors. Two, well done. Mm. And one, medium. Jed's mom was happy. The man was happy. And one very rare. <laughs> Jed, Gordon, dinner time. Go back, way back. This one's out of the park. And as for Jed, he finally got his dog. The end. And now, our anniversary surprise. Surprise? Fire's nice and hot. What surprise? Special occasion. We planned it just for you. Roast. Frank. Say what? <laughs> Rose Franks, don't you like them? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're great. Happy anniversary, Frank. Let's cook. Oh. So, who brought the bikes? Oh, we're going to bring the bikes. Who brought the bikes? I put the mustard. The relish. The relish. It has to be relish.